5 Demonic Things People Must Stop Doing 1 Timothy 4, 1 Now the Spirit speaketh expressly, that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Firstly, it is important to know that just because a group of people or a building call themselves Christians, it doesn't mean they are actually Christians. Secondly, just because someone says they believe in Jesus doesn't mean they believe in Jesus of the Bible. There are quote-unquote churches that don't recognize Jesus as Lord and Savior. There are a lot of Jesuses out there in the world. Some people believe that Jesus is a created being, which is not consistent with what our Bible teaches us. Some people believe Jesus is angelic, just like Gabriel and other angels. This, we know, is not consistent with Scripture. Some believe Jesus was a good man that lived on earth. Jesus was not a good man. The Bible tells us that Jesus is God. Jesus was not just an average good man. No, the Bible clearly tells us that Jesus is God. I say all this that it is not enough for us to take things at simply face value. You must be able to dive in and see what the beliefs are. There are so many people who are being led astray by groups which give themselves a label as Christian churches, but they actually follow doctrines of devils. In the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. There are some things that we as Christians should not engage in. 1. Blood Covenant Don't let anyone deceive you that a blood covenant with another person is a way to strengthen love or the best way to seal an agreement. Many people don't know much about blood. We just believe it as a fluid that is in the human body, flowing through the veins. Blood is much more than that. Blood is life. There is life in blood, and it has the mouth of its own. Blood can speak. Blood is not something we can be taken to be an ordinary thing. When Cain killed Abel in the Bible, the blood of Abel spoke out from the ground. Genesis 4.10 And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. There is a reason why the blood of goats and bulls are being used for cleansing in the Old Testament. It is because blood has life in it. The life in the blood of goats and bulls will replace the sins they have committed. It got to a stage that the blood couldn't do much, and that is why greater blood came through, the blood of Jesus Christ. When you make a blood covenant with another person or an object or a god, Demons will hijack it because they need life to operate. You may think you are making a covenant with that person, but you are also making a covenant in the presence of demons. When the covenant is broken, the blood will speak under the influence of demons. We need to warn our children, teenagers, and youths about this. This has put so many people in trouble. The problems might not start immediately. They might start when you have forgotten about the covenant. A teenage boy and girl fell in love when they were in high school. They felt nothing could come between them because they were in love. They made different promises to each other. One day, after watching a film, they got the idea of a blood covenant. They made the blood covenant that they will never leave each other no matter what happens. They saw this as an ordinary covenant. They felt they could break it anytime they liked. After they went to college, they broke up. These two people died mysteriously, the same way and the same day. Have you made this kind of covenant before? Have you used your blood to promise someone something? You need to break that evil covenant right now. It is a dangerous thing you have done. It is never too late to replace the blood with the blood that speaks better things now. Hebrews 12.24, King James Version and to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling, that speaketh better things than that of Abel. 2. Summoning Demons There is no such thing as a friendly demon. TV shows might try their best to portray demons in a lovely manner, but demons are real, and they come to do three things according to the Bible. 
to kill, steal, and destroy. People summon demons maybe for money, healings, or fame. I believe that Satan can genuinely give people what they want in this world. Satan is the god of this world, and we see that he can offer kingdoms of this world. Matthew 4, 8 and 9 Again the devil taketh him up into the exceeding high mountain, and sheweth him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them, and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. As children of God, we don't summon demons. We don't play games associated with demons. We don't negotiate or talk with demons. Many of these people don't know that demons will not give them something without taking something much greater than all the things they would be given. Many people have sold out their souls. They have given the devil total control of their lives. People will go to spiritual mediators to do so. You may think only the unbelievers do this, but I need to let you know that Christians do this too, but they don't want people to know. Some people go to church, but they still summon the demons. They still consult demons. Some pastors are performing miracles using the powers of the demons. That is what we have in the world today. Many Christians also play all these paranormal games where they summon demons and they believe it is just a game. These games are not ordinary. They are demonic. And if you are doing this, you are doing demonic things. You need to stop playing these games. You will see people with cards and they summon the demons. They think some of the words they have spoken are ordinary, but the demons are present in their midst already. Christians, I want you to know that you are not of the devil, and the only person you should be calling on is the Lord. The Bible says, call on the name of the Lord, not the devil. What relationship hath light with darkness? You are the light of the world, and you should never be part of those who summon demons for fun or healing and some other temporary benefits. Run from these things and save your life. Run from these things that can give demons access to your life, your family, and every area of your life. 3. Making Evil Sacrifices There is only one sacrifice that has been made, and that is Jesus dying for your sins. The sacrifice Jesus made was made out of love for you. This sacrifice covered many things. He became poor so that you can be rich. That is a sacrifice there. 2 Corinthians 8, 9 For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that, though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye, through his poverty, might be rich. If anyone is telling you to kill an animal to make sacrifices, they are not doing it for God. God doesn't accept that. There are no sacrifices of animals we need to do in the Christian walk anymore. Many Christians have been deceived to do this. They offer sacrifices and they are washed with some ungodly materials, claiming they have been washed by God. If it is not baptism done in the biblical way, run from it. This is not the time to be ignorant of the vices of the devil. This is not the time to give all these false prophets the chance to make us fall into demonic things. We need to start running from them. 4. Consulting Sorcerers It is a sad thing to know that Christians are going to meet sorcerers for help. It is a pity that those who are called Christians are leaving Christ to go and consult diviners for help. Some people have the mind to go to the sorcerers for help. People go to meet diviners for help. Christians are also doing this because they want something and they feel God will not give to them. A young lady was sharing a testimony of how she gave her life to Christ. One thing she mentioned is that on more than one occasion, when visiting a diviner for help, she would run into a lady who was also there for help. She found out later that this was the wife of a bishop of a church with tens of thousands of members. I don't know why it is hard for us to trust the Word of God and wait on the Lord. Why should you allow yourself to be scapegoats to the devil when you consult him? Why should you allow yourself to be tossed around by the devil 
Enough is enough. We Christians must not practice this. Deuteronomy 18, 10 through to 12, King James Version. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughters to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. I know you might have been praying for something for a long time. That doesn't mean you should think God cannot give you what you have prayed for. Wait on the Lord.